I know this shit took like fucking forever to do this fucking review. Uh, I don't know why you guys just like, like to see me get tortured or get fucking poked with a stick up my fucking asshole. You guys just like seeing that shit. First I gotta deal with fucking uh, Baby Driver. No, no, before that. No, 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 no. Before that. Ready Player One. Or Ready Player Asshole. Then I had to deal with fucking Baby Driver, which that's less of a problem. But the movie did still fucking suck. And now I have to deal with another Edgar Wright film called Scott Pilgrim vs. The Shithole. No, no, it's Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. <sighs> a long time ago, well, I was 13 years old when the movie first came out in 2010. I really liked it. I was excited, you know, I thought it was a really good movie and all that shit. But then after I hit puberty, you know, after I fucked many, many girls and fucked the shit out of them and all that other shit, you know, became a man, you know, 27 years old now, and I realized this shit's fucking gay. This is one of the gayest movies I ever watched in my life. I don't, I don't, why the fuck did I like this shit when I was a kid? Like, I, I don't get it. What is so cool about this fucking guy? Like, what's so cool about Scott Pilgrim? He's a fucking nerd. He has a shitty rock band. That no one gives a fuck about. Uh, he dates a fucking seventeen-year-old, which that's uh, that means he's a fucking pedophile. And uh, he fights like like he fights all these fucking uh, ex-boyfriends and shit for this fucking whore, this fucking skank. What the fuck? Like, what is that? Like, honestly, what the fuck kind of movie is that shit? You people like this fucking bullshit? Why does this fucking geek fight other geeks for this fucking dumb purple green haired bitch? What the fuck? Like I don't get why you guys are so obsessed with this fucking movie. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. <sighs> How about fucking uh Dork vs. the Dork World or I don't know. I don't know fucking what I'm gonna say. <sighs> Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Like I, I just I would watch fucking Kick Ass than watch Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Even I don't even like Kick Ass either. I mean, Kick Ass fucking suck too. I would watch Kick Ass get his ass kicked and then watch fucking Scott Pilgrim again. Yeah, that's another way I used to like when I was a kid. Fucking Kick Ass. Like, I, I don't get why I like all this goofy shit when I was a teenager. I, I like a lot of stupid shit. Maybe because, you know, I was a virgin and I didn't, I didn't understand anything because I was a fucking dumbass kid. So I just watched anything and thought everything was good. But then I got older, it's just like, what the fuck was the matter with me? When I was a teenager, I hated like a lot of shit. I, I hate I hated everything. Except for like movies like Kick Ass and Scott Pilgrim. <sighs> Why should I even talk about this fucking movie, Scott Pilgrim? Should, should I even talk about it? Like, well, what's the point? It's just for fucking dor- dorks and fucking white knights. We can't get no pussy. Fucking Scott Pilgrim. Uh, yeah, Scott Pilgrim, uh, he, he's a fucking nerd. Uh, he has his own goofy-ass band that no one gives a fuck about. They probably think, they, they think they're like the next Pink Floyd or some shit like that. Not even fucking close. They can't even sing for shit. They sound like fucking garbage like Nickelback or something like that. That's how fucking terrible their band is. Fucking, uh, he's, he's like, uh, fucking this 17-year-old girl. Which that's fucking nasty. Fucking Knives Chow. What kind of name for a fucking Chinese girl is Knives Chow? Knives? I mean, I see Chow because of uh, the hangover, but Knives? That that sounds fucking deadly, man. Fucking Knives and shit. You know, I know Knives are, you know, you stab you in your fucking heart and you die. Knives? Uh, you, want, you want to piss a girl off named, named Knives? She fucking stabbed the shit out of you. Stabbed you like a hundred times. I thought she didn't do that to him because, you know, he ends up leaving her for uh, fucking Ramona. Ramona Pola. Fucking Lisa for that bitch. I mean, it is the right thing to do that. I mean, uh, she's like 17. I mean, you can't just bang a 17 year old. You gotta wait like uh, another year until she's like 18. And she actually could do something with her. Even though that's still fucking nasty, but whatever. Yeah, uh, it's a stupid ass movie. It's fucking stupid. Like, that's the whole movie about. It's, it's all about fucking Scott Pilgrim and shitty band. And I always think about these girls in his head. You know, you can't get any of these fucking girls. Except for, like, uh, Ramona and fucking Knives. And these two other bitches he talks about. 
He's always obsessed about getting his fucking cock blowed all the fucking time. I said, you know, getting a job and get some real life fucking things to do in his life. Said bullshit all fucking day. Like all he does besides uh, like uh, fuck girls and shit, he just uh, has his goofy ass band, the next Nickelback band. <sighs> and he fuck over another chick that's uh, I guess uh, in the band or something like that. In his band, and she's like always like pissed off because he he fucked her over. I just I don't know what really to talk about with this fucking movie. Like that's that's basically all it's about. He has a shitty band. He all he does is chase around fucking girls, and he fights ex boyfriends for this whore. That's like the whole fucking movie. That's basically the whole movie. The whole movie is just him playing music as band, and he fights ex boyfriends. That, that that's it. That's the whole movie. And it sucks, especially all this stupid uh, graphical effects going on, all this flying around shit like the Batman 1960s show. I remember watching the Batman 1960s show and I watched this shit. Fucking stupid as hell. I was surprised they had wham, bow, cup, I think they did. I think they did. They did have that fucking bullshit in there. Maybe they stole from fucking Batman and Anna West. Fucking assholes. Fucking piece of shit movie. Like. I don't know why these fucking geeks like this shit. Maybe because they don't get laid that much in real life. I mean, that's what it fucking is. Sitting around playing fucking shitty ass Fortnite all goddamn day. You're playing Call of Duty instead of getting a real job. Get your ass off the goddamn computer and get a fucking job right. Break your fucking shit. I would bash that fucking computer with a fucking hammer and bash that motherfucker. I don't care if you cry like a little bitch. You want another computer? Get a job and make fucking money, you dumb motherfucker. <sighs> Just like with Ready Player Asshole. Remember I did a rant about all those, these fucking geeks you can't touch grass. Sit around and watch fucking Scott Pilgrim all fucking day. Thinking they're Scott Pilgrim. You know, the, the thing is about Scott Pilgrim and Michael Cera. Michael Cera looks nothing like Scott Pilgrim. He looks nothing like him. Like, Michael Cera? Like, well, what kind of choice of a character... What kind of choice of an actor is that to play Scott Pilgrim? He looks nothing like the character from the comic book. He looks nothing like him. I'm like, what the fuck? The dude, look, he's like, I don't know. I, I don't think he has any diseases or anything, I don't think. Because I, I don't think he ages, right? He doesn't age like Andy Milonakis or something like that. A lot of people know who Andy Milonakis is, is my subscribers. A lot of you motherfuckers don't know who Andy Milonakis is, so. That was a pretty funny fucking show, though. Andy, the Andy Milonakis show, man, that show was hilarious. Fucking uh, hang out with Little John and shit, man. I'm gonna watch that and watch this garbage. Yeah, well, still, like, Michael Cera looks nothing like fucking Scott Pilgrim from the comics. I'm like, what the, what kind of choice is this? I don't say he was famous from Superbad, but Michael Cera, like, he like he's like, I don't know, has, like, uh, cancer. I'm not trying to be an asshole, you know, I like Michael Cera, but could he actually got a character that looks look just like fucking Scott Pilgrim? I mean, an actor that looks just like Scott Pilgrim, not Michael Cera. Michael Cera has, like, his eyes, are, like, really fucking shrunk in his hell. His hair is, like... Yeah, that's the only thing that's like the character from the comics is his hair. That's it. His face looks nothing like the fucking character. But whatever. Whatever. I'm not Edgar Wright, I guess. You know, Edgar Wright is not really that great at, outside of uh, Simon Pegg movies. Fucking uh, dumb purple green haired bitch and fucking uh, all these band geek assholes. <sighs> Fuck me, man. Especially you got uh, Anna Kendrick playing his sister. You got uh, fucking Macaulay Culkin's brother playing uh, uh, Scott Pilgrim's gay ass brother. Like he's fucking blowing fucking big uh, warm white wieners. I'm like, really? I mean, I, I had no problem with that. You know, I'm just saying it's just it's kind of weird. Macaulay Culkin's brother is playing gay and he's sucking uh, big giant uh, fucking white penises in his mouth. You know, he has a white penis too, but you get what I'm trying to say. You get what I'm trying to say. I think. Just, uh, uh, I don't know what was worried to say about this shit. Like, I mean, Anna Kendrick, you know, she is pretty attractive. I mean, I, I used to think she's like really ugly as fuck, but now it's like, I changed, I changed, my, I changed my mind a lot about that broad. Oh yeah, and fucking Ar Arby Plaza's in there too, and she played just another, like, a stupid character. Like, she's like a really underrated actress. She's playing goofy ass characters like this in this movie, like, She's done, like, better shit than this. So this shit fucking blows so many fucking whale penises that, uh... Macaulay Culkin's brother got to suck all of them. 
It doesn't make no fucking sense either. None of that shit makes sense what I say. None of it. Because I'm Samuel. I say, I make like, a lot of stupid shit. Makes no goddamn sense. Scott fucking Pilgrim. Yeah. Should I even talk about the ex-boyfriends that he fights? Oh, boy. Like, the only one I like was fucking Chris Evans. Because Chris Evans is actually cool in real life, too. Then you got Brandon Ralph, who played that, uh... Superman reject, you know, I never watched that movie, I heard it was pretty fucking terrible, though. He plays the vegan guy, and the fucking the Punisher shows out of nowhere, he's one of the, the cop guys, and he goes like, Milk and eggs, bitch! And that's like the only thing funny about that movie, that's it. Everything else is cringe as fuck. Every time Scott Pilgrim talks, I, I fucking cringe my eyeballs every time he talks. He's like, me, 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 me. like he's, he's like a Stuart from fucking Matt TV, the way he talks. No, no, no. Shut the fuck up. What else? Uh, yeah, yeah, he fucking beats that guy. Oh, yeah, every time he, Scott Pilgrim beats up a guy, you know, he drops coins or something like that. Like, like it's a fucking Super Mario game or something. Or Mega Man. I don't know, some weird shit. It's like a fucking video game. Well, that's the point, dude. It's supposed to be a game. Shut the fuck up. Get the fuck off my fucking channel. Get off my video. Get the fuck out of here. Out. Dumb motherfucker. This is my channel. I can say what the fuck I want. It's like what Tony Montana says, I'm Tony Montana. You don't fuck with me. Alright. Enough of that shit. Let's go back to the review. Uh, what was, yeah, yeah. You got him. We got that guy. You got fucking, uh... Talia Sharir's fucking son, uh... Jason Schwartzman. He plays, like, the main fucking ex-boyfriend that Scott has to fight. And it's like geek versus geek fighting each other. My mind will just get get over it and bully Charles fucking cock instead of fighting or pop Charles fucking pimples on your faces, fucking dorky geeky ass shit. <sighs> it makes me want to watch just watch fucking Star Trek and watch this shit ever again. You know I hate Star Trek too, but I'd rather sit there and watch that geek shit and watch that. <sighs> at, least, at least fucking Star Trek. I like grown ups. Trying to think some other bullshit. Scott Pilgrim does not have a job. He's broke. He lives with his fucking brother. Oh, his gay ass brother. And he has a shitty band that no, no one gets a fuck about. Fucking the next, next generation Nickelback. No one cares about that. And all he does is fight for this whore who fucked all these guys and they're all pissed off because she don't want to fuck him no more. That's the whole motherfucking movie. That's the whole goddamn movie's about. People love fantasizing and talk about it all the fucking time, all the time. On YouTube and outside of the internet, they always talk about this fucking movie. It's like my fucking shitty kick ass. I heard they're making another fucking kick ass movie. Which, oh boy, I don't I don't want another kick ass movie. Please, God, I don't want another kick ass movie. Oh god, make it stop. These shitty movies, man. These shitty movies will never stop. Why is he making our Scott Pilgrim movie yet? Oh, I wouldn't be surprised if they did some fucking stupid shit like that. A 40-year-old Scott Pilgrim still fighting for fucking dumbass Mar Marona fucking flowers. Yeah, she's a fucking flower, all right? My ass. She ain't you know, a fucking flower. She don't even look like a goddamn flower. She's like a fucking idiot. I like the actress who plays M Ramona Flowers, but I don't like the fucking character. Like, if you're a man and you're fighting over a woman, please stop. Don't, don't. Do shit like that. Stop. Go find somebody else. Why you gotta fight for a woman for? Like, well, what is the point of men doing shit like that? Like, he, you, all you do is look, look, look like a clown. You make yourself look like a fucking clown. There's, there's more women than men out there. What are you doing? Go find somebody else. Don't waste time fighting for a woman. What the fuck is this? Uh, the Re Revenge of the Stiff? Fucking Oe one against fucking uh, uh, Hayden Christensen? Like, what the fuck? Jesus Christ, man. Get a grip. There's more pussy out there than anything. Oh, man. Uh, I, I think that's it. I mean, I can do pros and cons, but you know I'm going to be like shitting on more often with the uh, cons more than anything. All right, the cons. Oh, there's pros. You need to start the pros first. Fucking Scott Pilgrim. Uh, the music, uh, I don't know, I, the music could be a lot fucking better, I mean, not really that's fucking special, it's not like Baby Driver music, 
Definitely not. We got fucking next generation Nickelback music. Oh yeah, yeah, great tunes. Yeah, like I tap my foot to that shit. Yeah, rip my shirt off, swinging air like fucking Muscle Man. Woo! Uh, yeah, that's a con. You know, the music sucked ass. Uh, I'm trying to think of a pro. I don't think there's any pros. I mean, uh, I don't know what the fucking say for pros. I mean, what is there for pros? There is no fucking pros. I don't think so. I don't really like anything about that fucking movie. Shit's fucking for dorks. All right, let's go to cons. Scott Pilgrim is a fucking geek. He's a pedophile. He's a weirdo. He has no job. All he does is fight over fucking women all goddamn day. Say just, I don't know, doing the right thing and be a goddamn adult about shit. The fuck out of your fucking uh, your brother's house and get your own fucking house. Fucking slacker. Then you've got fucking, uh, what's the other, what's the other one? Uh, some more fucking. Scott Pilgrim. He's a pedophile. He's a nerd. He's a dork. He has no job. Those are all fucking uh, cons right there. That's all fucking cons. Ramona Flowers is a whore. Uh, his brother's a fruitcake. Uh, hmm, try to think some more. His band sucks. They're the next Nickelback. Uh, let's see here. The ex-boyfriends are a bunch of fruitcakes. I think that other guy with that stupid uh, makeup on his fucking face is like a fucking giant fruit ball. Uh, so there's too much flamboyant shit in here. I mean, it makes me fucking uh, lose my ball sack watching this shit. Uh, too much fucking uh, stupid special effects in here. Too much flying around, flipping roos in the air like it's fucking Power Rangers shit. Uh, this whole movie fucking sucks. There we go. That's the end of it. That's all I'm going to say. The movie's too fruity. It's too fucking fruit. Yeah, yeah, it's too fruity. That's it. Yeah, that, there we go. The end.